what's up wild people welcome back to the channel if you're new i'm alexandria denise and i'm here at my local store's nursery to source some new blueberries for the upcoming season to add to my existing blueberry garden right now um i have about two i'm looking to do about two three more and i usually shop for them towards the end of the season it's right now it's nearing august blueberry season is anywhere from april to august here in georgia so it's the perfect time the blueberries go on sale and i don't like to just hunt for deer i like to bargain hunt too so wherever i can get something on a discount i so uh, i'm going to show you how i select my blueberry bushes and see to uh, see which one is going to be most promising for the upcoming season so stay tuned for this one editing alex here Due to public background noise, you get to listen to my angelic voice paired with some soft, mellow music. <clears throat> okay, so as I was saying, I love shopping for blueberry bushes around the time of late July, August, because many of the vendors mark them down as you see here. A $10 difference is excellent for blueberries of this quality and I'm definitely buying more than one to add to the two I already have. It's also the perfect time to evaluate the condition of the bushes after the fruiting season. I get to see the full health of the plant, if it still has fruits blooming, the quality of that fruit, and its potential to produce for next season. These are sourced at Stokely Wholesale Plant Nursery in Sims, Alabama, which is not far from Georgia, and that's great. They didn't have to travel far and are germinated from my climate, Zone 8A. Basics to consider when selecting your bushes is your climate, which is divided into zones with the average temperature of the region you are planting. These temperature changes are usually tracked by a local weather authority or university in 10 degree or 5 half degree intervals. The temperature can slightly fluctuate yearly but remains relatively the same, making it a great reference. Many blueberries need an ideal temperature of between 60 to 70 degrees to ripen fruit. There are five main blueberry species, with each having their own subspecies that are ideal for certain times of the season. Some subspecies may start fruiting in the early season, some the mid, and the others late season, which means growers can enjoy a full harvest from last to first frost. Requirements may differ depending on the species, but the three most common are going to be the northern high bush, Blueberries best grown in the northern regions, zones 1 through 4, and are able to withstand harsher winters. They require 800 to 1000 plus chill hours with temperatures below 45 degrees during dormancy to produce a hefty harvest for next season. Southern High Bush, bred for mild to moderate winters with chill hours ranging from 400 to 600 and thrive in much warmer temperature zones 5 through 9. Some are even bred for drought resistance, meaning they can go longer without water than its northern counterpart. Though watering is still required at appropriate times in the season. Rabbit eye, which are usually shorter and has a plethora of subspecies such as this unique pink lemonade blueberry and this tiff blue right here. Like the southern high, they require milder winters and long dog days of summer in the same zones. I'm most familiar with the southern varieties, but if you're new to selecting blueberries, they should come with a tag attached by the nursery to inform you of the type you are buying. As stated before, I'm adding three more to the two I already have, and this is actually key to a greater harvest. Varieties of the northern and southern high bush are self-pollinating. However, it's encouraged to plant two or more for a greater yield. Rabbit eye are not self-pollinating and benefits best when paired with others of its kind or of the high bush variety. This tiff blue will go perfect with this bright whale. These are the three I've selected. There are other characteristics I look for outside of fruiting ability. Plus, by this time, they may not have much on them to judge them by. If there are still fruit on the plant, it's a good indicator to that particular one's reproductive ability as well as blooming season, but I would still look a bit deeper. I check for potential diseases such as stem canker, a common fungal infection mostly in the southern US. They start as small red lesions that will turn into deep cracks on the stem eventually killing the bush. 
I also look for discolorations such as yellowing of the leaves, early leaf drop that could indicate the plant isn't getting enough iron. This can be fixed by decreasing the soil's pH, but that takes time and it's a tedious process. So if you don't have the patience, just don't waste your money or even risk bringing home an infected plant to others. A weakened plant may have other developing infections. I've had this problem before and can definitely say prevention is better than cure. Now I love that the leaves here are a lush green which tells me that the chlorophyll production in this plant is on point. Chlorophyll is what makes the plants green and aids in its photosynthesis process. But don't be concerned if you see some of the leaves turning. Blueberries are not evergreens and may start dormancy a bit early or gradually shed the SS leaves that help them in fruiting. Plus, depending on the temperature and the amount of watering they've had, the plant will shed excess to preserve energy. It's only if the leaves are all discolored or falling off at an alarming rate before the first cold front that you should worry. If this happens in your garden, move the plant away from the others immediately, then evaluate the possibilities. A personal preference of mine is the structure and volume of the plant. I like the bushes that are a bit sturdier versus the ones that branch out. They have a more uniform look and appear fuller when they are in season. Plus, the height of these is just right to fit into the protective cage I built for them. Please note, that just because you are buying a blueberry bush doesn't guarantee it's ready to thrive in its new home. Nurseries are responsible for germinating and getting them to market for profit. You are responsible for ensuring it has a healthy life for years to come. This means as soon as you buy it, preparing the soil for next season, pruning and other care is important for reaping harvest. You can plant them in the ground if you have the space and sunlight, but I've been growing mine from a container for the past four years due to small space living. It comes with some challenges, but they are definitely able to. So please check out my other videos on how I manage my blueberries. If you harvested value from this video, leave it a green thumbs up so it can branch out and reach more people. Subscribe to the tribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new updates forage for other videos that may pique your interest on my channel and connect with me on other platforms. Until next time, go be wild and live free.